Um, so, like I said, upstairs here um, is where the actual ice factory was. Um, you can see we restored and kept the original bridge crane up at the top of the ceiling. Um, the metal walls that you can see still exposed was actually the original um, ice tray that went in here, so it took up the whole floor. When we got this building, like I said, in the late 90s um, or early 90s, some people had bought it and turned it into offices, and then up here was actually like a movie production facility, so every inch of the wall and this whole room was painted black. So it was a challenge to get the paint off the walls, this 3,000 square feet of wall up here, but we wanted all the impurities and all the cracks and everything to come through. Um, I'll take you guys this way. We've got a collection of old ice tongs, all different sizes, but that's what they use, you know, to carry large pieces of ice. We also collected, um, or we've been collecting old ice signs. Most of these will have a different state on them or county on them, and what this was is that ice companies would issue these out to their customers, and the customer, depending on how many pounds of ice they wanted, would, you know, have it turned or hooked up the way to let people know what they wanted. This side is the bar is identical to the other. Um, we kind of wanted this space to be for overflow, to be a little bit more casual. I can also move all the furniture around in here, so if we want to do any cocktail workshops or any special events, um, we can focus on that here. So uh, this is the cold draft machine. I was telling you, most serious cocktail bars, I mean, even in New York, this is what they use. Again, it does really huge one and one quarter by one and one quarter solid blocks, so a lot different than commercial ice machines. This is the Scotsman. It does teeny, teeny, tiny balls of ice. This is when you want drinks to dilute quickly. So juleps, um, smashes, cobblers, anything like that, we'll use these. And then our prize possession is over here. It's what most people do not have. It's the Klein Bell. And it's actually a really, really, really simple device, but it produces two 300 pound blocks of ice every two days. So you can see we got one ready to go. And you use this hoist, we can crank it up, get it out of its plastic bag. And then we use, um, wheel it over here onto this table with um, put down a piece of foam. I don't see the chainsaw, but then we've got a little teeny tiny chainsaw and you start just breaking it down into smaller and more manageable pieces and then we can take it upstairs and hand cut from there, chisel or do whatever. And that's it. <laughs>